Yeah, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. It's Dr. Victor Basui, and the channel is My Take on It with Dr. Basui. Today, I'm going to be talking about um, one of the conditions that I find very prevalent in the uh, clinic these days, and that's um, twitching of the eyelid, or what we call spasm of the lid, or blepharospasm. In recent times, um, I tend to see a lot of patients coming into the clinic complaining, oh, doc, my eyelids are always uh, twitching. People tend to panic a lot when this happens. The truth is, um, there isn't really much to panic about. But there are few basic things that we should know about it. When the eyelid starts to twitch, there are two basic things that will cause it. Number one, high stress level. High stress level. Then number two, people that drink a lot of coffee, caffeine. So now we know that... Um, Twitching lid or blepharospasm isn't much to worry about, but it's a way of the body sending you a very strong signal that your stress level is too high. You have to slow down. I tend to see this condition in two basic demographics. Doesn't matter male or female. Young adults and middle-aged individuals. Young adults because this is the point where most of them are still trying to find their fate. School is going on, so the stress of school will most times uh, throw the system off balance, and twitching lead will become one of the, pro one of the signs that uh, patients will complain of. It's common, or it's more common during exam periods. So the twitching of the lead tends to be more common in young adults, especially during examination period, or those that are uh, tradesmen when the stress level is high, or apprentices. Then, in middle-aged individuals, again, is a problem because of the stress level, stress from work, stress from family, and um, other areas of life. You're trying to put food on the table. For some people, it may be stress of work or some distress of being between um, jobs. The sad part of this is um, the more you worry about it, the more the condition is going to get worse because your stress level will increase. So, and that's why I think uh, knowing what causes it will help us reduce uh, or reduce the frequency of uh, occurrence of this condition. So, stress level is a major factor. Then, drinking a lot of coffee. Caffeine. For most people when they are stressed, they tend to drink coffee. Coffee will make the condition worse. So we need to know how this um, works so we know how to control it. When the stress level is very high, your immune system automatically goes down. Your immune system is what helps you fight diseases. So if the stress level is high, it means you're not going to be able to fight a lot of diseases that your body will probably uh, will normally be able to handle. Chances are you're going to fall sick easily. I did a video last time on a transient ischemic attack and strokes. Again, stress is a major factor. So when you get to the point where you start to um, get frequent occurrence of um, twitching eyelid. It just it doesn't matter whether it's what right eye, left eye, upper lid, or lower eyelid. Uh, it's a way of your body sending a very strong signal to slow down that the stress level is too much. Please don't keep drinking coffee to reduce the uh, to overcome the stress. It just makes the condition worse. So things like stroke, transient ischemic attack, and every uh, lot of diseases will be able to hit you easier when you are in this uh, state of mind. So let us uh, understand what this is and do our own part to minimize the side effects that could come after. The ferrospasm on its own is not something to panic about. You don't take medications for it. It's a nerve condition. When the stress level is low, it will um, subside. But it's just a way of your body telling you to slow down. So please, let us heed the warning that our bodies are not machines. 
even machines, when you go past certain limit, the machine will give up. It will yield. So the body system will do the same thing. If you don't hit the warning, it will give up on you. So that's what all I thought I'd share with you guys. Uh, share the video with other people. It may be you. It may be um, a spouse. It may be family. It may be friend. If they know, okay, once the lead starts to twitch, it's time to slow down. Then it will it could um, help stop a lot of things. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I just thought I'd share this with you guys. Again, it's Dr. Basu. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comment section. I'll gladly answer them. Uh, like I said before, my wife is back to school. So time is not really on our side. But we'll still try to post at least one or two videos um, in a month. Other than that, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Again, continue to share our videos. We appreciate you all. Thank you.